gems so this is just the continuation of the plaits that i did my braid out i've had these in for a whole day i did them yesterday i washed my hair i did a water wash. hey so this was the day before and my hair needed a wash i had not taken care of my hair for a week meaning i had not been sleeping with my do-rag i had not been moisturizing my hair and this is how my hair looked it was dry it was fuzzy my edges were just out of control and guys i just want Wanted to show you the ugly side to dreads if you don't take care of them we are not perfect this happens to a lot of us but i just wanted to take you guys on this walk as i wash my hair and style and i hope you guys will like it so let's jump into the shower so i just showing you another view of my hair and how it looked and this is my hair when i don't take care of it and there's some lemon in there and what i love to do is fill it up with water the reason why i love to wash my hair with lemon when i'm doing a water only wash is because lemon is really moisturizing but you shouldn't leave it on your hair for long because if it stays in your hair then it ends up drying your hair but this is a water only wash guys i end up staying in the shower for like one hour because i wash my hair very through and i also make sure that the water is hot i know you guys are like what you wash your hair with hot water yes i do because i know that when my water when the water is hot i am melting all the oil that has built up in my dreads so i enjoy washing it with hot waters and this is only um once a month and so but i also don't do water wash all the time sometimes i will wash my hair with shampoo but this is just really enjoyable to watch because looking at my dreads, they have grown really long and I'm starting to love the thickness in my roots. And you know what? I feel blessed, you know, we all feel blessed to be able to enjoy life. And also, this is something that I love to do when my hair has those little what are they called um they're like little circles or little knots that create um when your hair is like fuzzing up i just take my hand and i use my hand as a brush and i just straighten them out everywhere at the back and in the front and that just helps the hairs that are frizzy to get a bit more straighter so that when i go in with my retwist my hair is easy to retwist into the dread. So after that I take the freshly squeezed lemon water and I just wash my hair once again and I get that in. It really makes my hair feel soft and so I just like to use it as a conditioner but I make sure at the end I rinse it out I don't want to say this word thoroughly thoroughly wow I'm so Kenyan guys I mix I rinse it out thoroughly <laughs> but yeah this is coming to the end of my wash and we can now move on to my retwist so here we are my hair is freshly washed i just oil my scalp and massage it in something i like to do before i retwist is just section my hair so that i can see the sections better and my hair knows where to go when i am twisting it so i just like to section it first before i retwist and yeah after this we can now get into the retwist so guys, I just wanted to show you the method that I use. As I said, I just take the flyaways and I wrap them around the tread. I don't even make my partings neat. All I want to do is wrap the flyaways around my tread and I move on. And I'd like to show you how my treads are in the root. They're very thick and I feel like they're really healthy. So from here 
all I did was move on to the next stage which was braiding my hair in Kenya we actually call it doing matutas so I started get, preparing myself to do matutas on my hair I actually got little hairbands from my daughter and they're really nice because they're actually thicker than the black ones but I didn't do them tight and what I did was I just did matutas around my whole head As we were coming to the end of my retwist and braidings, uh, my matutas, <laughs> this is how my hair was coming out. I think it looked pretty cool. The last time I did a braid on my hair was so short, but my dreads were so short, but I thought I could rock this. But what I did was wrap my hair away and just enjoy the day. So this was the look and we're going on to the next day them yesterday i washed my hair i did a water wash and then i just braided these in my hair is dry i was worried my hair was not gonna be dry and guys this is the first time i'm actually doing this so first of all i want to put some oil on my hands so i'm gentle on my hair here we go i don't believe in spritzing your hair with water i am very scared of doing that i don't want to affect the curls but i'm really excited to see how this turned out i didn't want my uh, my braid out to be like very defined i realized i don't think i like defined curls i like more of that natural look so that is what i was going for and i just used my daughter's bands like she has these little cute colored bands and they're really thick actually i think they're really good for like dreads because they don't hold really tight they're strong and i just put those on my hair and let's take this twist out this braid out out and see how the hair comes out. Are you seeing this beauty? Okay, I like the shorter, like that. But anyway, it's okay. Got three more to go. And we are done and this this is the look i love it this is so cute guys i love the size of it it's just really everything and yeah tell me what you guys think my hair is actually just medium i did trim my dreads as i said in my last video I love it guys so anyway thank you for watching the whole clip this was just my retwist how i wash my hair how i retwisted and style it and i decided to do a braid out and i love how it looks i'll take some pictures but thank you bye